Hey guys, we're back with episode 4 of season 2 of Tech Talk at 5. Joshua here. Amir here. Yeah, so we're gonna start this week's show with a little Holly Hollywood esque sort of news. Mm -hmm. Like we're movie reporters, bro. Exactly. Critics. Pop culture, right there. So, um, as you guys probably heard, Spider Man says goodbye to the MCU, right? That's so sad. It is. It, it really is. Because, okay, I don't know if you guys knew about it, but, um, Sony actually owns the rights to the character. Yeah, okay. to Spider Man. Yeah, so Marvel doesn't own the rights. So prior to this, remember it's Toby Tobey Maguire, Maguire, bro. Yeah, so all, all that and after Classics. Andrew Garfield, they mm -hmm. weren't part of the MCU because Sony owns the rights. Mm -hmm. But then Disney slash Marvel and Sony sort of had an agreement to sort of let them use the character for yeah. the whole Infinity War stuff. thing, you know. But the deal was that I think Disney and Marvel will only get five percent of the Box office, bo box office gossip, okay? That's, so only 5%. That's, that's low. Bro. Yeah, that's I mean, low. but that was the deal, okay? And Sony was more than happy in that, with that. So, um, with the success of Spider-Man Far From Home, mm -hmm. dude, that movie super did super well. It was billions at the box office. Sony's most successful film, okay? So Disney and Marvel were like, hey man, we want more. And they, they feel like, Part of the reason why it did so well was because they were behind it, you know. Yeah, and then Sony was like, "Wait, no, this wasn't the deal. They wanted the same deal mm -hmm. that they had last time." So yeah, push came to shove, and then Sony was like, "Nah, I ain't doing this," you know. Mm -hmm. So I mean, what do you think, man? I mean, it's the end of Spider-Man. Like, I, I think it's impossible. Like, I don't think that Spider-Man will eventually come back to the MCU. I feel. I mean, because I feel like this, this suddenly out of nowhere, they Disney start talking about, oh, now. Uh, Sony isn't letting us use the rights for Spider-Man anymore. He won't be in the MCU. I feel like it's a it's a, it's a ploy, it's a ploy. you know, to get to pressure Sony. So everyone's like literally pressuring Sony right now. Even like some of the uh, the Avengers cast, they were like, oh no, we don't want to see Spider-Man go and stuff like that. I mean, till a point, someone literally made a site called Is Spider-Man Back in the MCU Yet? dot com. And I literally, decide, all it does is say yes no. or no. <laughs> right now, it's, it's no. You can see no. it right now. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah, stuff. It's ridiculous. I mean, they are, I mean, Spider Man is literally being propped up to be the next Iron Man. Uh, and, right? I mean, I feel like that's what they, that's what Disney is doing with the Spider Man character. Yeah, 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 they are. They're making him like mini Iron Man, which yeah. I mean satisfies some fans, but I guess angers some as well. So yeah. maybe Sony can do a better job with Spider Man mm. because um, what's that dude's name? Kevin Feige. Yeah, he's the he's the guy at the helm behind Spider-Man. He's from the MCU. Yeah. Okay, and the biggest difference right now is that he won't be behind the new Sony movie, but Tom Holland will be. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Tom Holland will be. So I mean, oh. they're still discussing it. The odds are it's not going to be a reboot. Mm. So Sony could that. just have pulled off a master show here. I mean, sad for the MCU because yeah. they were propping Spider-Man up to be like a central character. That sucks. But I mean, I don't know. Let's see how it we'll goes. see how it goes. So. There you have it. So, sticking to the Hollywood theme, all right? This new Star Wars trailer released, mm -hmm. okay? And holy shit, it was pretty much like a, okay, we'll put it up, Yeah. but it was pretty much like a montage of yeah, all, all the prequels, like, the sequels, one, and all two, that stuff. Three, four, five, all of them, six, all of seven, them, all eight. of them, bro. Yeah, and then you get, the and then you get some footage of like the new Rise of Skywalker film. Mm -hmm. And then it gets to this crazy ass scene, man. I where, don't even. Where I don't even know what to think of <laughs> Mind blown, okay? I was literally like, whoa. Because Ray wielding a lightsaber that's red, a dual lightsaber that's red, that sort of props up like a Swiss knife. And, Wait, you know? So does that mean that Ray's father is Darth Maul? <laughs> nah, man, I mean, Darth Maul is red. Bro, he had, yeah, but he had the he had the double thing too. So, it could, I mean, could I don't be, know. But, um, pretty much, I mean, yeah, like, Nostalgic for sure, right? Yeah, it's really nostalgic, but like, I, I don't know what it could mean. Like, either that Ray right now is possessed by the dark side, or like, I really just could give less of a f about what's going on in the movies at this point. I mean, I think, to be honest, Star Wars is always sort of like teases and crazy ass mm -hmm. nice trailers and then just bomb the yeah, pops that's off. Yeah, that's true, but... We just have to see, okay? Don't get your hopes up just yet. Uh, or don't get them down. Who knows, maybe it'll be a killer film. Yeah, and no sign on Jar Jar Binks either, so... So let's talk about smartphones, bro. Yes. I mean, yesterday Huawei released the Nova 5T. Oh yeah, that was that was crazy. They they pulled out all the stocks, bro. Right? I mean, and well, it's a pretty powerful phone. It has the Kirin 980. Yeah, I mean, and 
is going. That's the same process that as, as a P30. Yeah, as a P30. So yeah. invest in stuff for a mid-range smartphone. Yeah, because it costs a thousand five hundred and ninety-nine. Yeah, so it's a hundred ringgit cheaper than the Honor 20. It looks exactly the same. Has better specs because it's two GB bump. Mm -hmm. So it's an eight GB RAM mm -hmm. compared to six GB, and it's cheaper. And it has how many cameras? Five. All right, Bro. four at the back, one what? in front. Okay. So I mean, this begs the question. I mean. Is this the rise of the mid-range smartphones? I mean, I think like with what we've been seeing for the past few months at least, it pretty much is because the Mi 9T yes. came in, and that's and a good it phone. Was, it was a pre, it was a killer uh, mid uh, mid-range. That's phone, one thousand know? one hundred. No, it's one thousand and ninety-nine ringgit. So that's pretty cheap. And then they came up with a stronger and more powerful iteration, the Mi 9T Pro. It's which has on, a yeah. which has a Snapdragon 855, which is flagship level processor. Yeah, literally, and it's for what? Uh, 1,599 ringgit. And just an FYI, yeah, the Snapdragon 855 that processor can power a computer. Yeah. So, in a mid-range smartphone, you get processors like that. Why does anyone? Why would anyone need to buy a flagship? Yeah, literally. I think like we're getting to a point where flagships are like flagships. Are gonna be a useless thing because it's just like something that you use to front. You yeah, know? look, this S10 and all is three thousand and above. The Note 10 is what four thousand. One of them is four thousand. Yeah. There's no point to get a phone like this, the Mi 90 Pro or even the uh, the Huawei Nova 5T. Never thought we'd say it. Yeah. yeah, they have value for their phones. Exactly, and, and you can save money. You can spend the other thousand five on like tools. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. So, Pro I mean, right there. there. I guess it is like pretty much. Right, you know that the mid ranger. It's on. It's on the rise. Yeah. yeah so it's pretty much. Next time you get a phone, don't don't look out for like the flagship. Don't yeah, look for the S tens or the Note tens. I mean, great phones. Yeah. But you can buy stonks. You know? Stonks. Okay. So, okay. Realistically, what are you gonna do with the phone? Realistically, at this point, all these mid rangers can probably do what your phone can already do now better, and almost comparable yeah. to the flagship. So there's no point. So, pro tip from. Live at PC.com, get a mid-range phone, yeah. save money. I mean, one of the good ones anyway. Think about the future. Okay guys, so we have another new segment for you, okay? And it's called, What's in the Office This Week? Mm -hmm. What is in the office this yeah, week? Yeah, because we get a bunch of tech stuff every mm -hmm. week and we have no idea what to do with it, okay? It's for review normally, but... Yeah, mostly. Yeah, so this week, okay, as you can see, we have a bunch, we have like a 4K projector, an SDM bag, headphones, on headphones, on headphones, on headphones, yeah, and a bunch of phones, okay? So this week, let's, you know, put the Galaxy A80 under the spotlight, okay? So this is the box, as you can see, okay? And, whoa, check it out, it looks exact. I open it and it's the same screen saver from the, wow, crazy. Okay, but, um, yeah, so, this phone, right, as you can see, um, huge screen, 6.7 inch. The, the main selling point is the fact that its camera has the best selfie camera, okay, because then Because it has that. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of cheating. Yeah. It's like, it's a... One it's more a, for the main cam. So check it out. What? Woo! Oh, that's oh, fancy. Even, man. That's, That's crazy. Fancy. That's a crazy. Yeah, but the, it's so crazy. But the funny thing about the phone is they call it a mid-tier device. Yeah, but, but it costs like what two, two four nine okay, nine. But one thing, one thing that I noticed about the phone, this doesn't have like a front-facing like face sensor to unlock. Mainly because if you put the phone on the on the ground on the flat surface. Oh wait, no, this this it's not flat, bro. A flat surface. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a flat surface. It doesn't open. That's crazy. Okay, oh, well, what? What? This isn't flat enough. Okay, no, look. No, when we tried it before, yeah, it, it doesn't wasn't. open. Yeah. So, there you have it. That's what's in the office this week. Wait on the reviews. Wait on the review, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get this and the S1 pretty soon. Okay, we got Rumors Has It. Yeah, so Rumors is back. So rumor has it is basically where we look at all the rumors we've heard about this Scoured week. The internet. You know, all of all all kinds of things. And this week, our first one is of course gotta be the PS5 renders. Yes. So basically, what is that all about? What do you so 
I mean, the PS5 has been in development for years. Yeah, it's been, and it's stated to come out next year. And recently, a patent from Sony was Leak. registered. No, yeah. right, it was registered on August 13th. And so we, yeah. we got, they, we, we, they, we basically got to look at it, right? Uh -huh. So after that, it, it's kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to it's feel like about it. It's like a toilet bowl. Yeah, I mean, pretty it's like much. A body, yeah, pretty yeah, much. yeah. Like a body. Yeah, and also like, so after that, let's go digital. They made a render of it. So they made it look pretty cool, but I don't, I personally don't think that Sony is going to make something like that. It looks very futuristic. I'll, I'll it, give you that. It looks futuristic, but I don't feel like it's in line with Sony's. Sort of like products design like yeah exactly so i don't know I, what do you guys think what do you think it i i feel like it looks like a beyblade stadium he thinks it looks like a toilet you know like the ones that you squat on yeah. but um yeah let's know what you think um but besides the ps5 leaks we've also got the reliable mate 30 leaks okay yeah. reliable because because notorious leaker ice, ice universe uh basically yesterday he tweeted a poster of the Mate 30 and then he basically said oh can be he says can be 100% sure this is a real poster leaked and if he says it's real yeah you know it's real yeah because like so far I've been keeping up with what he's saying and most of his predictions are true he said the Note 10 wasn't gonna have 45 watt charging and it doesn't so I mean he's, he he has a lot of these leaks so I believe him yeah. and so, um, lastly Apparently, Instagram's developing a messaging app called Threads. Okay, so this is their effort to sort of get all up in Snapchat's face. Okay, because you know Snapchat has a high engagement among youth, and Instagram really, yeah, they do. No, really, believe it or not, Snapchat's still alive, kids. I mean, old people. Yeah, so they're developing a messaging app that's sort of like Instagram, mm -hmm. and that's sort of like Snapchat. Sorry, that where you can sort of like send messages that's personal and then it'll be oh so is it like kind of like a disappearing kind of thing yeah too? something like that and it's like it's meant for close friends and all that it's from a reliable source the verge actually reported it so it is i think in the works so you, i mean would you guys use a i mean a secondary app just for messaging on instagram i mean we do with facebook like we have the facebook and yeah then we have I mean, messenger but am i ever on messenger i don't know bro but I think it's. I think it's not. I think it's trash. I, I, mean, I totally would not. Use I can't that. slide. I mean, DMs are cool because you can slide into the DMs. You know? Yeah. But, what am I gonna slide into your tread? Or <laughs> oh, I that sounds the nasty, bro. To your tread or something. I, I don't know. I'm sure that there'll be more fun sure. coming up. But yeah, there you have it. The rumor, rumor has, has it. it. I mean, rumor has it. But it's me. Yeah. All right, guys. So what's a talk show without a giveaway, right? Mm -hmm. And we're back with our. Famous giveaways. Okay, so as you can see, we've got three Sonic Gear Air Force units 7s. of yeah Sonic Gear F one seven giveaway. Okay, so it's really simple, as usual. Uh -huh. All you gotta do to win these bad boys mm -hmm. is like and share this video, uh -huh. subscribe to our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. and tag a friend in the comments section with the color that you want. Because we have three. We have white, black, and, and red. Red. Okay. okay. I mean. So Green, red, call it a Merdeka giveaway or something, I don't know. But um, pretty much, <coughs> we will choose a random winner anytime before the 6th of September. So, yeah, at any time. So you yeah. could comment today and you, you could be chosen. Be or you could comment two weeks later. I mean, not two weeks, because then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before like, the deadline. Before the 6th of September at 5pm, okay? We'll choose three random winners, okay? Mm -hmm. So keep them comments coming. You can comment as many times as you want. So, yeah. So that's it for today's episode. Yeah, you know, hope you enjoyed. Now you know what you gotta do. Like, subscribe, share, do all that fun stuff. Give and a call maybe. Yeah, don't forget about our giveaway guys. Make sure you comment and do all we just told you before the 6th of September. Yeah, anytime, next Friday. it could be anytime. So we'll choose at, at, at a random time. Right? Three random winners. And that's pretty much it from us here. And live with the Shiro Kong, Tech Talk Your Five. See you guys next week.